Their numbers were small, but their message powerful and heartfelt. Kyron Horman is still missing and his family is in agony. And I can't imagine as a mother what she goes through every day. Friends, family and strangers came to support Desiree Young in demanding justice for her son Kyron. Anytime um, a missing child case goes quiet, it's dangerous. Seven-year-old Kyron Horman disappeared from Skyline School in Northwest Portland in June 2010. His mother planned the rally at this very location outside the Multnomah County Courthouse to send a message. Number one, to bring awareness to Kyron again. It's been um, very quiet lately. And uh, we are also putting pressure on the DA to get a task force together. The missing second grader's mom says she's been trying to set up a face-to-face -face meeting with District Attorney Mike Schmidt for months, but that hasn't happened. In a statement, DA Schmidt said, quote, my heart goes out to Kyron's family and the dedicated and compassionate community they have built around his disappearance. To date, this case is open and we remain committed to investigating new facts and evidence should either surface. If we can get additional resources on the case, we can button up some of the stuff that we need to do. Young would like the DA to convene a task force in the case which could help review evidence, revisit old witnesses, and create a strategy for cracking the case. She just wants answers, no matter the outcome. Because I don't know if we're going to be able to bring Kyron home, and we need to be prepared for the worst case scenario. No charges have ever been filed in the case, despite continued focus by investigators on Kyron's stepmom, Terry Horman. She dropped Kyron off at school the day he disappeared. She has long denied any wrongdoing, but Young has always believed she was somehow involved. We want Terry to know that we're still here fighting for Kyron, and she's not going to win. It seems obvious the district attorney is not going to meet with Kyron's mom, but she said she will keep pushing. There is a $50,000 reward in the case for any information leading to the whereabouts of Kyron Horman.